Welcome to The Real Crime Diary. I'm your host, MHB. Today we're delving into the dark and complex world of death row. What really goes on in the minds of those awaiting execution? Join us as we explore the psychological state of death row inmates, uncovering the raw emotions and haunting realities that define their final days. The reality of death row is far more brutal than most people can imagine. Inmates face a daily struggle with isolation that goes beyond mere physical confinement. They're cut off from the world, their loved ones, and even other prisoners. This extreme isolation takes a severe toll on their mental health. Fear becomes a constant companion. Not just fear of death, but fear of the unknown. When will their execution date be set? Will their appeals be successful? This uncertainty gnaws at them day and night. Anxiety plagues these inmates as they grapple with their mortality. Every day brings them closer to their scheduled end, creating immense psychological pressure. Many develop depression, PTSD, and other mental health issues as a result. The emotional challenges are equally daunting. Regret, guilt, and sorrow often consume their thoughts. Some struggle to maintain hope, while others resign themselves to their fate. It's a complex emotional landscape that few outside death row can truly comprehend. Life on death row is a daily struggle against dehumanization and isolation. Inmates face a relentless routine that strips away their individuality and constantly reminds them of their impending fate. Every day is virtually identical. Prisoners spend 23 hours confined to their small cells with only one hour for recreation. This isolation takes a severe toll on their mental health. Human contact is extremely limited, often restricted to brief interactions with guards or shouted conversations with neighboring inmates. The environment itself serves as a constant reminder of their sentence. From the moment they wake up, every detail of their surroundings, from the stark cells to their numbered uniforms, reinforces that society has deemed them unworthy of life. Simple human experiences we take for granted are denied. Inmates can't share meals with others or even choose when to eat. Personal belongings are severely restricted and can be taken away at any time without explanation. This oppressive routine continues day after day, month after month, sometimes for years or even decades. The psychological impact is profound, as inmates grapple with the knowledge that this dehumanizing existence will only end with their execution. Let's delve into some personal stories from death row that reveal the raw emotions and thoughts of inmates facing their final days. One inmate, Jerry, shared his journey of faith and remorse in his last hours. He wrote a final statement saying, I know that I have hurt a lot of people in my life, especially my family and the family of my victim. I am sorry for the pain and sorrow I have caused. His words reflect the weight of guilt many inmates carry. Another account comes from a man who kept a daily journal for the last 60 days of his life. These entries provide a haunting glimpse into the mind of someone counting down their final moments, grappling with regret, fear, and acceptance. Some inmates find solace in routine. One described how he would meticulously clean his cell each day, saying it gave him a sense of control in an uncontrollable situation. Enjoying this episode? Be sure to click the subscribe button to never miss another episode of The Real Crime Diary. Others turn to religion, finding comfort in prayer and spiritual guidance as they face their mortality. The range of emotions is vast. While some inmates express deep remorse, Others maintain their innocence until the end. Fear, anger, resignation, and even moments of unexpected peace all surface in these final days. These stories remind us of the complex humanity behind each execution, challenging us to consider the psychological toll of life on death row. The impact of death row extends far beyond the inmates themselves. Families and friends of those sentenced to death often experience a roller coaster of emotions, grief, anger, and helplessness. They're forced to confront the impending loss of their loved one while grappling with the circumstances that led to their conviction. Many families describe feeling isolated and stigmatized by society. They struggle with conflicting emotions, supporting their loved one while acknowledging the pain caused to victims' families. This emotional burden can lead to depression, anxiety, and even post-traumatic stress disorder. Interestingly, complex relationships often develop between inmates and prison staff over time. Guards and chaplains may form connections with prisoners they see daily for years. This can create internal conflicts for staff as they balance their professional duties with growing empathy for the condemned. These relationships highlight the humanity of those on death row, challenging the notion that they're beyond redemption. 
It's a stark reminder of the profound impact the death penalty has on all involved, from families to prison employees. As the final hours approach, death row inmates often experience a whirlwind of intense emotions. Many describe a surreal sense of detachment, as if watching their own lives from the outside. Some find solace in prayer or meditation, while others desperately cling to hope for a last-minute reprieve. In these final moments, inmates often reflect on their lives, expressing remorse for their actions and concern for the loved ones they're leaving behind. Many make phone calls to family members, trying to find the right words to say goodbye. Some write letters, attempting to leave a final message or seek forgiveness. As the execution time nears, inmates may experience physical symptoms of extreme stress, rapid heartbeat, sweating, and even nausea. Some become eerily calm, having accepted their fate, while others struggle with overwhelming fear and anxiety. The last interactions with prison staff and spiritual advisors can be particularly poignant. These conversations often reveal the complex humanity of the condemned as they share final thoughts, jokes, or even words of gratitude to those who showed them kindness. In the end, each inmate faces their final moments differently, but all are confronted with the stark reality of their impending death, grappling with a range of emotions that most of us can scarcely imagine. The psychological impact of witnessing an execution extends far beyond the moment itself, leaving an indelible mark on all those present. Family members of both the condemned and the victims often struggle with complex emotions, from grief and anger to guilt and confusion. Prison staff, despite their professional training, aren't immune to the emotional toll. Many report experiencing nightmares, anxiety, and moral distress long after their involvement in executions. Even observers like journalists or legal representatives find themselves profoundly affected. The clinical nature of the process, juxtaposed with the finality of death, can be deeply unsettling. Some describe a sense of surreal detachment, while others grapple with intense emotional responses they weren't prepared for. This collective trauma ripples outward, affecting communities and challenging our societal understanding of justice and humanity. The weight of witnessing a state-sanctioned death often prompts serious reflection on the nature of our justice system and the true cost of capital punishment. As we've explored the harrowing world of death row, we've uncovered the profound psychological toll it takes on inmates. From the crushing isolation to the constant anxiety of impending execution, these individuals grapple with unimaginable mental and emotional challenges. The complexity of their experiences forces us to confront difficult questions about justice, humanity, and the true cost of capital punishment. I hope this episode of The Real Crime Diary has given you a deeper understanding of the psychological state of death row inmates. If you found this exploration thought-provoking, please share it with others and join the conversation in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to The Real Crime Diary for more in-depth looks at the human stories behind criminal justice issues. Until next time, keep questioning, keep learning, and keep seeking the truth behind the headlines.